We are Siouxland Proud. This is KCAU 9 News at 10. And hello, good evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Seaman. And I'm Sophie Erber. As beef prices continue to rise, reform to the cattle industry is being discussed this week in our nation's capital. And as KCA United reporter Dylan Adams reports tonight, takes a look at the impact that the legislation could have on the market. That's our top story tonight at 10. Hey, Tim and Sophie. Nebraska Senator Deb Fisher called the livestock industry the, quote, economic engine of the state during her remarks at yesterday's Senate Agriculture Committee hearing and says reform is needed to ensure the beef supply chain remains successful. Senator Fisher says issues with the cattle market have been ongoing for decades. And the president of South Dakota Cattlemen's Association, Eric Jennings, agrees, but added the stresses of the pandemic shone a light on how the cattle supply chain works. He says factors like packing houses shutting down for weeks combined with a major increase in consumer demand for beef resulted in the four major meat packers cashing in. Like I said, it was a perfect storm for the packers, and, and they definitely reaped the benefits of it. Uh, the feedlot owners, uh, they took it in the shorts on the deal. It was very difficult for them. Jennings says he supports portions of the revised Cattle Price Discovery and Transparency Act, such as the creation of a public library that would indicate how much feedlots are making from packers via alternative marketing agreements, better known as AMAs. But he added what a federally mandated set negotiated price would do to the profit margins for his operation. If we take away the ability of the AMAs to be used and mandate that trade, they're going to bid based on an average price. And so they're going to get the extra value that, that the producers have bred into those cattle through genetics. Senator Fisher says she's heard from many producers who discuss the need for a more fair and transparent market. As Tyson, Cargill, JBS, and National Beef Packing control around 85% of the nation's feedlot cattle while taking home record high profits over the last two years. But the CEO of Cargill says other components are at play when discussing a base price for each head of cattle. The price for meat is not immune to the global factors that are causing inflation. Supply and demand, labor constraints, transportation challenges, and rising feed costs add even greater pressure, and it all leads to increased prices at retail. And there was also a House Agriculture meeting held Wednesday that included testimonials over its own version of the cattle contract library bill, bringing both chambers one step closer to sending the initiative to a vote. For now, Dylan Adams, KCAU 9 News.